When I first came to Los Angeles in 1915, the population was less than 100,000. And uh, of course, Hollywood was a very small community. And in fact, Los Angeles was a very small community. And the studio was called Innsville. Then we finally moved into Culver City, where Harry Culver had uh, given the land to Tom Ince to build uh, the studios there. And now it's uh, where MGM Studios are. It was originally called the Thomas H. Ince New York Motion Picture Company Studios. If they built an industry, they made movies that championed the American dream, that uplifted us with dance, musicals, hope, and dreams. They created the Hollywood studio system, a vast complex of industrial light and magic beyond our wildest imagination. They were the Hollywood movie moguls, the men that ushered in the golden age of movies. So it was very simple and very quick working with Willie Wyler, the way I worked with him. And with Hitchcock, uh, Hitchcock was very meticulous uh, in his camera setups and what he wanted. They created the Hollywood studio system, a vast complex of industrial light and magic beyond our wildest imagination. To me, a director is only as good as the story he has and only as good as the talent he has in front of the, in front of the cameras. You go. Where shall I go? What shall I do? Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Well, naturally, I think the, the number one thing is you, you try to, everybody tries uh, to get a good story. Because if you don't have a good story, you could be the best director, best actor in the world. And if it isn't entertaining, why well, nobody's going to come to see it to speak of. They were the Hollywood movie moguls, the men that ushered in the golden age of movies. Uh, it used to be that the audiences were tuned to go to see their favorite stars. You can have a you can have a very bad story loaded with stars. It still won't do any business. They promoted style, taste, manners. They had a respect for religion, education, and innovation. They inspired America to become great. But then came the Paramount case and the consent decree. The U.S. Justice Department forced the movie moguls to sell their theaters, sell their showrooms, and this destroyed their ticket sales. The studio system that employed the nation's actors, writers, directors, producers, and crews would never be the same. Welcome to The Star System, an ad hoc industry of unemployment, discrimination, and sequels. An industry controlled by predatory agents, lawyers, and managers. A lack of diversity and creativity at all levels. Well, I'm here at the Academy Awards, uh, otherwise known as the uh, White People's Choice Awards. Then came the money men. and the corporations. The corporate takeover of Hollywood. Now, there's never enough profit, never enough control, and greed is good. From the producers of Fiat Empire and Midnight Ride, Mainstream, how Hollywood movies and the New York media are promoting the globalist agenda.